to get real. real. All right, guys, welcome to Get Real, hosted by me, Ashley. Me, BM. And Joan! <laughs> <laughs> She's replacing Peniel. Peniel couldn't be here. Uh, but yes, we have Joan for another episode today. Yo. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you for joining us. We needed her today because in today's episode, we're talking about college. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Um, I think by now, many college prospects have heard from schools on their acceptance, deferment, or possibly rejection. College isn't the be-all, end-all for a great life, but higher education is a big part of many people's lives. What was our process getting in? Did we feel like we learned anything useful? And is it worth all the stress? We'll find out. Interact with us on our socials at The Dive Studios or leave us a comment on our full episode videos at youtube.com slash divepods. And make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. And please leave a five-star review so more people can find out about our amazing show. Yay! Five stars. I got new glasses, guys. Oh, that looks look dope. Good. Dude, you yeah. should keep them on. You look mad cool. Oh, should I? Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. No, we can't see your beautiful eyes. Take them off. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right. So college. Yeah. Where'd you guys go? Did we all go to college? Yes. Yes. Did you? I did, but I left after two years. Oh, me too. So I didn't graduate. Oh. I you graduated. graduated. You went to Berkeley. I did go to Berkeley. You went to… I went to Hunter College. Hunter you College. Don't know it, so and you good. went to Cal, Cal Poly, Poly Pomona. Pomona. Yeah, I'm a Pomona guy. Yeah. The yeah. school is called Cal Poly… Wait, what? Cal, Cal Poly. California Polytechnic School oh, of… Oh. Cal Poly. Oh, it's a really good cool. school. It, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. I made it in and my mom was like… My mom was hoping I made it into a UC. Because mm-hmm. UCs are much bigger and like… They're like more… Um, Next level than Cal State's. But yeah. um, I mean, I was happy I got anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was a good school. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. What were you guys' majors? I didn't decide. I was undecided. Undecided? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because you usually… You declare your major around junior year, yeah. Yeah. I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I majored in film and media studies. Minored in education studies hey. and minored in Korean studies. Hey. What the? So, so it all, many. It all led. It all to led to what I'm doing you. now. That's Dang. crazy. But in the moment, I was kind of mad at myself because if you go to Berkeley, mm-hmm. it's if you're an engineer major or yeah. a business major yeah. or any other majors than what I studied, yeah. people are like, oh wow, you studied really hard. But mm-hmm. I did the fun stuff. <laughs> Because she, you know why? It's because in high school she didn't do the fun stuff. Yeah, I studied a lot in high yeah, school. She so. was yeah, she was a straight A student. Honors I was AP. not a straight A student. You weren't. I did honors in AP, so it helped me with the GPA balance. Where were you in your GPA in your last year? I think like were you over four. Four point. I think seven was my Sheesh. highest. Oh wow! You guys went oh by four. Well, we went by hundred, like full hundred. What, what oh, were you? What? Where were you at? Well. I did pretty okay in school. So my average yeah. was around like 93. Oh, oh my goodness. My gosh. But yeah. I was lucky if I hit a three flat. But Dude, that's you were smart in high school. I was… I was I you just didn't dumb. try. I wasn't dumb. But I just tried on the ones that I enjoyed. Yeah. Like psychology was one I really enjoyed. Yeah, you did. Did yeah. we have the same class? We did. We did. With we Bennett? Had... Yep. Yeah, yep, we did yep, in yep, high yep, school. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Did I copy any of your homework? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, I actually I tried it so. in Miss Bennett's class. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was wow. fun. Yeah, that was we really actually fun. had was really t- took a lot of classes together. Did we take Spanish together? We too? did. We Gragues did, huh? Gragues, yeah, Gragues. Oh my gosh, watch them uh, like Senora watch Gragues. Our- <laughs> I remember. I love her. Oh She's gosh. such a good personality. We're talking about college, not high school. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh uh, shoot. Yeah. Going back to college. Um, yeah. Man… What did you major in? Psychology. Oh yeah. Oh. You were good. You love psychology. I really like the psyche. Like the, the, the human mind. Mm-hmm. Just like understanding and like trying mm-hmm. to figure out the whys mm-hmm. that followed up after the what's. Like mm-hmm. what yeah. did you do? Like you know? And then 
I was I was heavy into like criminal justice too. Mm. I think it's like, a lot of people were at that time around that time because CSI was so popular. <laughs> I remember all my friends telling me, "Oh my gosh, I want to be in CSI." Yo, I, I didn't major I, in that. I didn't I, watch that. Yeah, me neither. Oh really? CSI. Yeah. I started. I actually watched one episode, and, and the only time that was that was was uh-huh. when I was on tour, and I have nothing else to watch oh, really? on the TV screen. CSI, yeah. the Nevada one, was really fun. The yeah. Las Vegas one. I mean, yeah. I didn't, Las Vegas I one. didn't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> yeah. Well, that explains why you did well. <laughs> Sometimes, just on Saturdays. Well, what was the application process like? Did you guys bun- apply to like a bunch of schools? Or just <sighs> did you have one school that you really wanted to get into? Well, I'm going to be 100% honest. My mom applied me. Oh, oh like, really? Yeah, like I feel so bad right now because if you're a student and you need to be applying, your mom shouldn't be doing that for you. Yeah. You should be doing that. I wrote my… Um, Personal essay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wrote that. But the um, whole application process. Yeah, my mom. mom did all of that. She did wow. it for me and all two of my brothers. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Dang. <laughs> No. Okay, so that's how Austin and you got into yeah. all those great schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I wish oh. I had my mom do that for me. You know what's funny about college? It's it's known to be um, kind of disappointing if you go mm-hmm. into a community college after. Mm-hmm. Like straight out of high school. Because mm-hmm. um, that means you didn't get into what you wanted, right? Mm-hmm. Or you no. want to save money. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I, I, I never heard of that at that time. Oh, okay. But what I did here was you need to get into the UC, the Cal Poly, straight out of high school, right? Oh. So I did. I went to the Cal Poly. But my two little brothers, they went to um, the community colleges, mm-hmm. right? So I don't think… Um, I think uh, my mom was a little bit disappointed. I don't remember. But I think they were kind of like, ah, oh, man. Like, we didn't get into any of the schools. Mm-hmm. I went to Cal Poly. That's an okay school. Mm. It's not like the school for it's like It's a the really elite. good school. It's a great school. Yeah. It's a great it school. Really I love my time there. Yeah. You come out of Cal Poly. There might be great opportunities for you. But my two little brothers that went to community college… At first I was like… Oh shoot. Like they went to community college just because it was looked down upon. Mm. But they ended up going to UCLA and USC. Mm-hmm. Those are like the two major yeah. UCs. That's really hard to yeah. get into. And they saved… Thousands of dollars yeah. for doing that. Yeah. 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 So I feel like one thing I should say to anyone in high school right now that doesn't get into the colleges that they want to get into, community college is not embarrassing at all. No. Because you never know. There are a lot of people I saw that dropped out of their colleges when they got into it right after high school. Mm-hmm. So I feel like going into a community college kind of sets you up for that, like, okay, this is where I really need to start grinding. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just want to get that out because I feel like that's like a big thing that parents also stress on their kids too. Right. Like you need to get into that UC. You need to get into that Ivy League. You need to get straight out of high school. Come on, let's go. But it's like mm-hmm. really fact of the matter is a lot of people that are there drop out. And a lot of people that come from community college end up there and do better. Yeah. So. That's yeah. true. Do your thing, child. <laughs> <laughs> Did you apply to a lot? No, because well… I don't know why but… I never thought I would… I don't know like… I tried hard in school but I think it was mostly for my mom. I never knew what I wanted to study. I didn't have anything I really wanted to study because at that time… All throughout junior high school and high school I really liked dancing and Mm. just performing. Um, So I didn't do a lot of uh, extracurricular activities in school. I didn't really join any clubs which are very essential when it comes to… package. Yeah, applying, applying. right? It is. Um, But… I spent most of my time outside of school. I just went to classes and right after I would go hang out with my friends or I would go to dance school and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know why. I, I I always knew that we couldn't afford to go to like a private school and I also couldn't get financial aid. So mm. I was just like, you know, I don't even know what to study. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I didn't really try hard for my applications. Mm. I just took the SATs. Um, I just applied. I was like… Yeah, I'll just go wherever. And then… Um, but my mom, I think she really wanted me to go to a good school because she still spent a lot of money sending me to SAT schools. Yeah. You know, every summer I would go to Hagwon yeah, Academy same. and study. Same. And I don't know why what that was all for. I feel oh bad. Oh my gosh, SAT like, <laughs> Hagwons. I forgot about those. Yeah, they were insane. Oh my gosh, college application was was so stressful for me. I didn't want to apply to any private schools because it was more work. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you would have to take the ACT 
And you also had to get teacher's recommendations or counselor Mm -hmm. recommendations. And I didn't want to have to go through that process. So I did the easy way. (laughs) And just all UCs. Just check all the UCs I want to go to. And the Cal States. And then I just… I just applied to California schools. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I got lucky because if… I don't know. I don't think it was luck for you. Really? You were smart smart. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like… I'm, I'm shy. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. This is making me feel weird. <laughs> she was like smart smart. Hey guys, we wanted to take a moment and let you know about today's sponsor, Daily Harvest. Now that the weather is getting warmer for summer, which is my favorite season, I can't necessarily hide underneath my puffy layers of jackets and sweaters. And I feel like when it's hotter, I always crave lighter foods like fruits and salads. Does that make sense? Well, if you're like me and want to eat healthy meals that match the season, Daily Harvest may be the lifestyle change for you. Daily Harvest delivers delicious food all built on organic fruits and vegetables right to your door. It takes minutes to prepare and you'll feel rest assured that the food is good for the body. Daily Harvest is ready when you are. Everything stays fresh in your freezer until you're ready to enjoy it, so you waste less food too. And there's no need to overthink any of your meals for the week with Daily Harvest. There's tons of options like smoothies for breakfast, flatbreads for lunch or dinner, and like I said, they have seasonal food items that match the weather. Daily Harvest never uses preservatives, added sugar, or anything artificial. Even their own brand of almond milk is only made with almonds and a dash of sea salt. That's it. This is super convenient if you need to be always stocked up on food and too busy for that grocery store trip. Daily Harvest is also committed to minimizing their environmental impact. They're in the process of transitioning to 100% compostable, recyclable, plant-based, and renewable fiber packaging. Daily Harvest is undeniably delicious, clean food without the prep. Get started today. Go to dailyharvest.com and enter promo code GETREAL to get $25 off your first box. That's promo code GETREAL for $25 off your first box at dailyharvest.com dailyharvest.com A lot of my friends were going to SUNY State University like Buffalo, um, uh, Geneseo, Geneseo, and I forgot what else. Binghamton. Uh, but they were also known as like the party schools. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then there, I had a few friends, especially my church friends who were going to like Ivy Leagues because they were all super smart and studious. Um, and yeah, I had a few pe- pe- friends who went to the same school as me too. It mm-hmm. was just like everywhere. I don't know. I don't. I never heard of anyone going too far, like out into Cali or to the West Coast, unless they got into like an Ivy League school. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. A lot of them were attending NYU. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> did, did a lot of people from our school go to Cal Poly? A lot of people did, right? There were a couple. I um we didn't have a lot of people go to Berkeley. I think it was like two other people, and because the campus is so big, oh yeah, yeah. I I never saw them after high school. Which Berkeley did you go to? The UC one in Cali, Berkeley? right? UC yeah. Berkeley, right, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I get yeah. asked questions no, in I, Korea if I yeah. went to the music school, and I was Lata. like, no, that's more I'm famous not in Korea. Not yeah. Musically talented <laughs> whatsoever. So many people I know went to the Berkeley music school. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like, all, like all my guys that I produce with their, their Berkeley based. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, wait, which one? I was so shocked by how many Asians were on campus. Mm, oh yeah. Because where we're from, yeah, there's there not no a Asians. lot of Asians. Oh, so no I was way. like, oh my gosh. It was such a shock for me. I'm in the motherland! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did um, you guys live on campus? Yeah, I did. I had to. No. It was in the Bay Area. Oh. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It is oh my god. Bay. Lucky. I want to live there for a little bit. It, yeah, it me too. It was really, really nice. So would great. you… Do you go to… Cam- well, you lived on campus. So you would go to classes during the weekdays and then on weekends. Did you like explore? Yeah. You mean frat parties? Yes. <laughs> oh. I thought I was <laughs> saying more like sightseeing. And, like, oh yeah. The, all the oh, landmarks. Oh yeah. Yeah. We did. Mm-hmm. We, I went to the Golden Gate Bridge once. Now we, <laughs> now we know what Joan did on the weekends. <laughs> She was partying it up. Party hard. I think it all came out after high school because, you know, Mm. I didn't really have a life in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in college, I had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I heard your stories. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's another podcast. I know. I was quite, um, oh, my gosh. You know, when I turned 21. You were a whale. Yeah, I was quite a wild child. Uh Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I always wanted to live on campus and experience that, you know, full on college life, mm. you know, university life. It's unhealthy though. Oh yeah, freshman 15. 17. <laughs> Beauty Ooh. bar episode one, I believe, if you haven't heard. But I gained so much weight in college. Wow. Because you eat at every hour. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. You're always hungry. You're always stressed. And True. drinking. Yes. Mad beer. Yes. Mm. And lots of ice cream in the Bay Area. Mm. And you sleep really late. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was very unhealthy for me. Oh. Did they also have a buffet? Yes. The, right? We had like buffet. four or five I different ones. I wanted to ones. experience that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I A lot of people… They, a lot of people who are going to university… They cared a lot about the cafeteria yeah. and the yeah. food. I remember. Yeah. I remember like UCLA was known for… Having good food. So mm-hmm. I would go to their campus and be like, hey, swipe me. And then I don't know if That's it was so that cool. much better to be honest. So if you're deciding between UCLA and Berkeley, I think Berkeley has better food. Oh, food is important. I'm biased. The food that at my school was sh- But really? you have really good pizza in New York. Okay, but I don't eat that every day. <laughs> I, when I was in New York, I ate… <laughs> I, I was never a big pizza person. So… Um, I would only eat it like once every two weeks or something, which is which is a lot compared to now. That's but, it. That's a lot. Once every two. Oh wait, wait and once it was every always two at weeks? church because at uh, church we would always get pizza delivered. Um, right. But I would never go out of my way to go to like Prince Pizza or go right. somewhere famous in the city. Right. Um, and actually, in college, I was very fit because I would commute like an hour and a half, two hours, mm-hmm. one way. So a round trip would be like four hours yeah. every single day. <laughs> No, by dirty so subways did? with rats. Ooh. And oh my gosh. It's poop infested. Oh, it's I cannot disgusting. take the subways into your it Yeah, smell dude. Bad too? It smells bad sometimes. And you're so close because, you know, it's rush hour. Everyone's right. commuting via subways. Ah. So you're like stuck like this. So it's like Korea, kind of. When it's rush um, yeah, it's during rush hour. Dang. Definitely but different. <laughs> from Korea's Korea. much cleaner, you know? Right. Korea's got a good air conditioning system. It's got a good heater system. You know, sometimes the seats are heated. Ooh. New York, you don't got any of that. You know, in the summer, you're all humid and sticky and you're just next to each other, breathing in other people's armpit smells and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it was very. It wasn't very pleasant for me. But I loved going into the city every day. You know, mm. like… I felt like, oh my god, well, I'm going to live here someday. You, you know? went to college every day. So you made that commute every single day. I think the, the first semester of my freshman year, I went mm. every single day. Five days a week. And wow. then I changed my schedule a little bit. So I only went like three or four times a week. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But I went most of the time. And I took the weirdest classes. But that's… What college is all about, I feel like. They have a lot of interesting topics. We have something called decals. I don't know if it's still there. Decals? Yeah, but you could take um, classes on specific topics. And there was a course for Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Just on <laughs> At Rubik's Berkeley. Cube? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So it's pretty cool. They teach you how to solve it? Yeah. Wow. And you get credits for that? So it's like pass or no pass. So it's like a little lower than your three unit, four unit courses. Mm. But… I remember my friends would take that or yoga for yeah. like 0.5 credit. Wow. Um, so there were a lot of fun topics that you could go in for. Oh. That's that's nice. <laughs> How many times would you have to take yoga to pass? Like, to, <laughs> see all I the... never did it. I didn't really do a lot of the athletic mm, courses. Yeah. Yeah. You were in a fraternity? I was. Oh my gosh. I, well, I mean I am. It's like a… <laughs> Oh, you are. It's an ongoing thing. (laughs) It's for life. What is that like? Because I only saw it in movies, you know, and you have to do crazy things to get in. Yeah. So a fraternity and a sorority is just an organization that you could be a part of. Um, You pledge for it. And um, it's pretty much like for me, it's… I feel like it's just um, finding a network of people… When you first get into college. Because when you're mm-hmm. first getting into college, you would think like, oh, party, oh, meet all these people, oh, all this, all that. And, and that might be the case for some colleges. But for mine, I went in, I met like two people and I was just like, what do I do now? Mm-hmm. Go to class, come back, study a little bit. And I'm just like, what do I do now? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. The party scene wasn't too heavy in um, in Cal Poly. Mm-hmm. from from At least from what I experienced. So I was just like, okay, maybe it wouldn't be too bad joining an org. So, do you still talk to your bros? Yeah, yeah really? all the time. Yeah, mm, I wow. mean, not as much as I would want to, but we we catch up 
every now and then. Mm. Yeah. I always wanted to go to a frat party. I've never been. Oh, they're fun. Yeah, they smell bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it smells like beer. Yeah, rotten beer and other things. We kept oh. we kept our house clean. Yeah. yeah, you guys have your own house. We had like three or four. What? Yeah. yeah they, because so, the organization consists of like almost a mm. hundred people. So like there's a house on campus? Yeah. Mm. No, no, no. Um, like by campus. Yeah, by campus. Oh. So if… This is Pomona, right? Where the school is. Mm-hmm. Here's Chino. Here's Diamond Bar. Here's another city. And we would just get like houses that are close mm-hmm. where we could commute from. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And you guys would hold, hold parties there and stuff? Yeah. Every now and then. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you guys have like rush. Yeah. Rushing is pretty much the the time span where you try to get new people to join the fraternity, join the organization. Pledging is a process that everyone in the fraternity or sorority has been through to be in it. Mm-hmm. What did you have to do? I didn't have to do anything I didn't want to do. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot. I learned uh. a lot. And um, I feel like it gave me… Uh, 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 it bettered my mindset a little bit of how to handle life. Mm. Like when there's like… Stuff that happened in life. I'm just like… Ah. I remember. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I don't know if it's a misconception because I think it's kind of true. But uh, Korea and America… The college system is so different that in Korea… Once you get into college… It's like easy breezy. Mm. It's yeah. just getting into college, college that's the most difficult. But once yeah. you get in people party and they say right. it's really easy to graduate. But I feel like in America, it's not as difficult to get in but it's harder to graduate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I heard. Oh Definitely. my gosh. I, I feel like I studied more really? in really? college. Wow. But I had fun at the same time and mm-hmm. I wasn't like, I gotta get 4.0. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, I just need to pass. Like yeah. that, was my, yeah. <laughs> that was my mindset. So I think… In college, I studied really hard because I was competing with like super smart kids, you know? And so it was a bit difficult. So college was more competitive than high school. Right. But Uh I also feel like it depends on what you major in. Mm -hmm. Because in Korea too, it's not easy for every major out there, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I studied in Korea for like a summer at Yonsei because Mm -hmm. that was like one of the programs I did. And um. I partied so much. Yeah, you have you fun. partied more in Korea. You have fun. I feel like I drank so much at Yonsei. It like, doesn't oh stop here. Gosh. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go for like internship and get some like, you know, mm. um, classes done. But I don't know. I ended up partying till like 7 o'clock in the morning. Did you pass? And ha- yeah, of course. Ooh. And then I would have to… Go to class at 9 a.m. Mm. So I started drinking coffee in summer of 2013. Because that's when I studied abroad at Yonsei. Oh. <laughs> you needed it. Yeah. And that's why I don't drink soju as much anymore. Soju yeah, is like, like traumatized. Yeah. Beer reminds me of college. So I'm like, I don't want to drink beer. Yeah. Wine. Keep it classy with Yeah. Wine's wine. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> soju. Yeah. I like soju with food. It's a food thing right. for me. Like when like you with have he. like with like hair, with like kogi. Yeah, kogi. Yeah. Hey, you have it. I love I love makchang. Uh-huh. I love gopchang. So I'll have it with wow. that. Okay, excited. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always like a food thing for me. Like mm. it tastes better with food and food tastes better with it. So yeah, that's how it is for me. But college, yeah, there are a lot of parties in college. A lot that I shouldn't speak about too. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to press restart or just reset things in your life? Like cleaning out your entire room and starting from zero again? You may also feel that way about your hair. If you feel like your hair is in need of some resetting, it's time to try out the clarifying detox shampoo from Way. You listening might even been doing a lot to your hair like using tons of dry shampoo or getting it just a little too dirty between washes. But luckily, it's never too late to hit the reset button with clarifying detox shampoo from Way. You guys know I love color in my hair and I've gone not just blonde but even blue and pink. And even though I hate to admit it, even I need to take a break here and there to make sure I don't just destroy my hair. Using a clarifying shampoo to detox everything just makes me feel refreshed and like I'm actually doing something good for my hair instead of bad. Okay, so this is how Waze clarifying detox shampoo works. 
You use it once a week to neutralize product buildup, oil, dirt, and hard water from your hair and scalp without stripping away moisture. It's a combination of apple cider vinegar and keratin exfoliates and balances your scalp, plus smooths frizz and creates a lustrous shine. And it's great for all hair types, even hair treated with keratin, chemicals, color, or Brazilian blowout. Some of you guys might already know this, but Way was created by a celebrity hairstylist, Jen Atkin, to create the first socially connected hair care brand. So check out Way and explore their full collection of cruelty, sulfate, and paraben-free hair care, body, and fragrance products. When you're ready to undo some damage, hit the reset button with the Way Detox Shampoo. Go to theouai.com and use the code GETREAL to get 50% off your entire purchase. That's theouai.com, code GETREAL. I think my mom still wants me to have a degree, at least like a college degree. She always told me to finish school here in Korea, mm. to yeah. transfer and go to school and at least get a degree. But I don't know. I just… I don't… I don't think it's for me. I mean, if you <laughs> don't think it's for you, then you don't need it. I mean, yeah. you're killing it right now. Yeah, you, you, you have a YouTube channel. You have a radio show. Well, you know here, Korean parents. Thought, yeah, like, oh, true. They want to be able to say at least my daughter graduated college, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go back. Sorry, mm -hmm. mom. But <laughs> I'll learn other things. You know, stuff that you can't learn in school. Right. And I think experience is the most important thing. Yep. Like there were times where um, people will compare different resumes. It's like good school or experience. And mm. I feel like experience is what will get you your job. Yeah. 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 yeah knowing that it's how, it's mm. what prepares you for life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. hundred percent. Don't be scared people mm. of not going to school. Mm. But school is helpful. I will say. I yeah. feel like I look at school like this. It's all time management. Mm. You get workload, 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 X amount of time. How am I going to individualize these and prioritize my life so I could get the the results I want to get? Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you want to be that C student, you got to do this much, this much, this much, <laughs> and this time. Drink, and then do this much, this much again. <laughs> you know, if you're aiming for that B, you have to figure it out more. A, more. And I feel like all that stuff goes with you for the rest of your life. Because I didn't do that too well. And I can see how it's affecting me now. Because oh. like if I have like X amount of songs I want to make in a week or in a month. Mm. And then like people I got to meet while I'm doing that. And then like you know I got to hit the gym and all that. Mm. I'm so bad at time, time management right mm. now. So I mean I'm getting better. But it's like you guys know me. When I'm trying to do one thing. I'm sorry I'm busy with this every day right. Mm. So yeah I got I to gotta learn how to time manage a little bit better. But it is getting better. But I feel like school was something that helped with that. Yeah. I always admired people… Um, like smart people. And I love watching videos of smart people… Like talking like or… Feeling smarter, huh? No, I'm just like, wow. They have a brain that I will never have. <laughs> oh and one gosh. thing I love watching is like people describing what their college essay is like. Oh, how they right. wrote their college essay. And sometimes I'm like… Damn, why did they think of that? No wonder they got into Harvard, you know? Oh, wow. I saw one on TikTok and they were like… Their essay started with… Um, I hate the letter S. And it was because… It, something like… He, it went from parents to parents. And she talked about how her parents got divorced. And oh. that one letter S like affected her so much. And it was just like… Wow, oh, wow. how do you write a whole essay on the letter S? How did you she know? transition into this is why you guys should pick me? I don't know. That's true. I mean, I think someone told me that the best way to write your college essay mm. is to not about, write a college essay. <laughs> no, no, no. no, is to talk about something that like impacted your yeah. life, mm. like a big change in your life. Mm. Yeah. And then like at the end be like, and that's why you should pick me and I will donate later on in the future. <laughs> donate. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't know that. But maybe that can be helpful. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember what I wrote about. I don't even remember what my topic was about. And then that computer is broken too. So like I'll never remember what I wrote about. Mm -mm. No, I, I don't was... remember either. Mm -mm. But the thing with story writing… Because technically it is a story, right? Yeah. You're just writing your own story. There was a time I, 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 was, in, I was taking my uh, English class in… Um, uh, 
I mean, it was more like liter liter what's it called literature arts. Mm-hmm. Like so, I gotta write. Yeah. So, out of all the essays I wrote, I just wrote one that was a personal story, but I really wrote it like to t like to details. Uh huh. And then uh, I'm not gonna talk about it because it was a really crazy story. Mm-hmm. I got the paperback. I was just like, this is just my life story. I'm probably gonna get like a C minus or something. I got an A plus. Oh my god. I was like, what the hell? And what was interesting is before that, I had another um, classmate. We proofread each other. You know uh-huh. how you do that? And she came up to me. She was like, is this real? Aww. I was like, yeah. She was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> interesting. What the heck? You're making us so curious. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you guys it? later. I can't. Oh, I gotta okay, have okay. this. It's like… <laughs> okay. It's not the end of the world if you don't get into the schools you want to straight mm-hmm. out of high school. First and foremost. Community college… Could be a smarter route mm-hmm. for the long run. Um, time management is important. They stress that a lot in college. Uh, I feel like you can start with time management as early as high school. Wow, you're just listing no. everything. Yeah, I'm mean, everything. I sucked at. <laughs> no, I don't think college is necessary if you are not pursuing something that needs a higher education. No. Um, you know, a lot of people say, I mean, a lot of Korean parents said either go to college or learn a skill so yeah. you can become a master at that skill. Mm-hmm. And if something you want to pursue is a skill that you can work on, then I don't think you ha- necessarily have to go to college mm-hmm. because you can just spend those four years, you know, um, working on your craftsmanship and working on your skill Yo. and mm-hmm. trying to become number one at that. Or, you know, yeah. you don't have to be number one, but you know what I'm saying. There's a lot yeah. of classes for that too that's mm-hmm. outside of. Um, college too. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you guys listed them all. Yeah. The one thing I would tell people to try out for when they go to college is to study abroad. That is like oh. my all-time oh, number yeah. one advice. I just wanted to do that. It changed my life. It really did. <laughs> Where'd you did. go, London? And my liver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I went to Cambridge University mm-hmm. in the UK, and then I did Yonsei. And Cambridge was great because it was my first time in Europe. So Mm -hmm. I got to see a lot of Europe. Wow, I didn't know this. Yeah, it was really life-changing. And then Yonsei, it was mostly for… I wanted to have like a Pang Songguk internship. And then there was one… I actually worked at ASC when Eric was there. Oh yeah, she yeah, was so at I, I just knew oh, Eric. Like, at I met him way before. Wow. So when I reconnected with him, I was like, Eric, I did meet you before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he probably doesn't remember me because I was an intern, but that was like why I wanted to come to Korea. And then I got some credit at Yonsei and I did a lot of drinking. Yes, yeah. you did. I was over 21, so <sighs> yeah, another tip. Um Don't go too crazy in college. I know, you know, if you've lived (laughs) that life in high school or you're restricted, you know, you have um, strict parents and you just want to go out all out once you're in college. But please make wise decisions. Don't do anything you're going to regret later. I mean, if you learn from it and if it helps you grow, okay, make those decisions. But I would want you guys to not do anything you guys might regret, you know. Yes, mom. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so we found some people having questions related to our topic on Discord and also on Reddit. Uh, Lena S. says, My name is Lena. I'll be 24 years old this year and I'm in my third year out of six of med school. I received a scholarship from a pretty elite organization. And when I first met my advisor three years ago, she made it very clear that I was expected to not only get good grades, but also get a job and engage in clubs while studying. Right now, I am studying, learning Mandarin Chinese, doing my doctoral thesis, and working on surgical research projects where I have already published an article. I'm a mentor and advisor for international students that come to my university and am also part of two other clubs where we advocate for equality in healthcare and education. I think objectively, you could say that I sometimes, uh, I somewhat achieved what was expected. However, whenever we have group meetings with our scholarship advisor, I can't help but think that in in comparison to the other people in my group, my accomplishments are pretty standard and not worth a lot. While most things I do are pretty much targeted towards having better chances at a good job later, 
all the other students in my group are super smart and founding startups and initiatives and stuff like that. So I think that I'm really not worthy of being in the same group as them. Furthermore, they all have super interesting and unique characters and hobbies while my hobbies like cooking and gaming are considered super basic. I've always been taught to compare myself to people that are better than me in order to grow, but I don't really know what else to do because I'm just working all the time and I'm already tired AF as is. Should I even be comparing myself to those people? What do you think? P.S. I'm really enjoying the podcast so far. It really helps winding down after a long day. We got smart people watching the podcast! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank Worldwide you. of all intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh. Man, comparing yourself to people who are better than you, it's that's that's that's, that's everybody. That's oh, everybody. Yeah. And that's how you're gonna improve. Cause at the end of the day, it's as a human being, it's we just naturally long for change. And we're not gonna want change for the worse. We want change for the better. You find those changes in people that you feel are more successful than yourself. Mm. So it's only natural. But once that becomes a toxic, stressful type thing for yourself… Then you kind of have to tone down and give yourself credit for what you have right now and where you're at. Because, you know… That's when you should start thinking about where you were at like the year before. Or maybe even five years before. And kind of like… Russ said this. Russ said something along the lines of… Don't let your yearn for success in the future stop you from crediting crediting yourself for what you have today. Mm. I feel like that's that's something that you should, you know, sit and, and ponder on every now and then when you're stressing too much. Yeah, I yeah. think staying authentic in this case is Yo. what matters Woo. a lot because in college I roomed with three business majors wow. and business is like the hardest major to get into at, at Berkeley, Haas. And they call we call them Haas holes because <laughs> they're so like they're not. Yeah. So, so um luckily my my roommates weren't, but I remember my last semester at Cal, yeah. I you know, I didn't I majored in totally something different, more creative. Yeah. And I remember they were getting jobs at the top firms, the best jobs. And I was comparing myself to them, thinking that I wanted to do finance, mm. consulting, yeah. marketing, things like that, right? Yeah. But then later, when I took a step back and really focused on what mattered most to me and what my goal was before going to Berkeley, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, okay, I know what I want to focus on. And now when I meet up with them, even though they all have their business related jobs, we can all come together and talk about what we're doing differently. Mm -hmm. And it's more meaningful that way. So mm -hmm. I would say just to stay authentic and not worry so much about other people's goals. Like remember why you're doing it in the first place. If that makes sense. Dang. Mm -hmm. I took a lot out of that. Nice. <laughs> authenticity people. Yeah. Authenticity. Yeah. 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 There's always going to be someone who's better than you. Always. In everything, always. Right? Right. Right. Whatever right. you do. There's always going to be someone better. So mm. it's no use trying to compare yourself. Because um, that's what I did. I mean I men mentioned this in the last vlog. And I mentioned how I didn't know if I should sing anymore. Because I feel like there's someone, some, so much better people than me. And there's so many talented people. So I was like what's the point of me singing when it's not even that great. And then… The people that left these comments… I mean I'm saying the same thing right now because they're like… You know there, there's always going to be someone better than you. But your voice is your voice. And mm -hmm. you know you're the only person that can uh, sing with your voice. So don't Let's compare go. yourself. So I was like… Yeah. Let's yeah. go Ashley. <laughs> Aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. well, what song? The song you tell it. Oh, Telepatia. Mm, yeah. She killed that one too. So good. If you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on YouTube. <laughs> And by the way, I would also like to mention cooking and gaming are not basic ha uh, hobbies. Yeah, cooking and gaming are actually two things that a lot of people find to cooking have hard, yeah. a quality in their significant others. So sometimes it's hard finding one. You got two, girl. Mhm. Mm and she's working so hard. Yeah. You know. Hey, it's BM from Get Real. As in the Get Real podcast, which you're literally listening to right now. Hello. Well, 
I'm here to say a quick and big thank you to our sponsor, ShipStation. Not only do I do music, but I'm also in the fashion business, which I run with my family called Stadium. And for anyone out there who runs their own small businesses, especially if you sell products online, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say shipping orders can be one of the biggest headaches. Luckily, ShipStation makes shipping an efficient and cost-effective process. With them, it's simple to import, manage, and ship your orders out fast for a lot less money. It's no wonder ShipStation is the number one shipping software for e-commerce sellers with more than five-star reviews than anyone else. You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier using our deeply discounted rates, and automate just about any shipping task. Spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time on growing your business. No matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. You'll even get access to an amazing discount with major carriers including UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Easily compare carriers and choose the best solution every time. With ShipStation, small businesses can now access the same rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies without the contracts or commitments. I love that everything I need is in one place and that they'll show me all the different options so I can find the one that fits exactly what I need. Ship more in less time. Just use my offer code, GETREAL, to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in get real that's shipstation.com enter offer code get real make ship happen what did reddit user number two say ashley uh reddit user s s c h c sahi s c sahi we have the option to pick our own roommates but how do i know what is important to ask i don't want to suddenly realize we're incompatible halfway after it's too late also, is it a bad idea to choose someone with a different major? Mine is in biomedical sciences, but wow. would it be a bad idea to room with a vocal music major, for example? I love singing, so I'm sure we'd get along, but we wouldn't have many classes together. Oh my god, I remember people, my friends having so much drama with their roommates because they would not keep the rules that they yeah. set or they end up being like super messy or… Mm-hmm super dirty or bring their mm-hmm. significant others over to the dorm or the house and mm-hmm. stuff. I remember just hearing all that drama. Um, it's all very real. Yeah. How did you select your roommates? So luckily, my neighbor, he knew someone who was going to Cal. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I feel like you and… Her name's Connie. You and Connie would get along. And so he connected us via Facebook because Facebook was… It yeah, how everyone connected back mm-hmm. back in the days. Yeah. And um, we got really lucky because we had that mutual friend. Yeah. But then we got assigned to a third roommate too. Mm. A Three? random third roommate. Yeah. So did you have to use bunk beds? Um, no, because room, we, right? we had a big dorm. Wow. Yeah, so we didn't have to get bunk beds. Nice. We were pretty close, but the third roommate we was totally random. Yeah. Um, she was really sweet, but we just didn't click. But yeah. it wasn't a problem throughout. Yeah. Um, but I remember back in 2010, yeah. everyone before get um there was like a Facebook, oh my gosh, I don't even know what they're called anymore. Page for Groups. class of 2014, right? Oh, so everyone yeah. would start um liking that page and then they would look through those who are um, liking it and then add each other. So I remember when I announced that I'm going to Berkeley, I got like 20 friend requests from random people who were going to Berkeley. And I think that's just like how it was back then. And I think right now it's a little different. Different. Yeah. Um, Sometimes yeah. for dorms, don't they just randomly assign people? Yeah, together, my right? random the third schools. roommate. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I'm when you have when you get like a housing, because I know people that went to school in New York, uh, the dorm was really expensive, and also housing was super mm. expensive. So they would get a house in the city, and they would share it with like three or four friends. And I remember a lot of people would post on like Craigslist or on Facebook, and Man, that um, just sounds dangerous. I think the person who was organizing it, they put a lot of um, their what they wanted for their house, like rules, I guess, what yeah. they wanted each other to keep. And the most important thing was like no drugs, 
um, mm-hmm. no sex. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Like tidy, clean, and also just keeping rules. I yeah. mean, like for cleaning, Being I guess respectful. each person would have like their chores and stuff. Mm-hmm. And of course, when people first apply or because they want to move in, they're all going to say like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, so I'm, clean. I, yeah, I'm so clean. I, I'm so, you know, I'm so innocent. I'm not going to do anything crazy or bad. And then once they get in and experience their college life, they mm-hmm. start, you know, ignoring these rules <laughs> one by right. one. And yep. that's when drama happens. So yeah. how would you pick roommate? Um, how would you pick a roommate in a… I would ask everyone I know for a mutual… Mutual friend. Yeah. Mutual friend. Oh, like but mutual is it friend. wise to room with a friend? Because I feel like with friends, once you live together, it's kind of… Oh, but they're not friends. Oh, they're, they're all mutual friends. friends, friends? Of, yeah. Hmm. So I feel like all of the successful roommates hmm. were from mutual arrangements. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so your friends knew that this person wasn't yeah. a crazy… Or yeah. Else. So… Yeah, she's still like one of my closest friends to date, oh. actually. So that makes sense. Oh, you got mm. lucky. Yeah, I got really lucky. Mm. And I think I don't think you need to major with the same. I, I know. I don't oh think my gosh! You need yeah. to live together with the same majors. Right? I don't I recommend agree. it. I feel like three if, business majors <laughs> was not fun. <laughs> yeah, if you have all the classes together, so you're seeing each other every day in school, and then also coming home to each other yeah. and working together at home, I feel like that'd be too much. But I think yeah. it was it worked out for my three roommates mm-hmm. because they all um, studied together. Mm. Oh. So they did their own thing, and I'm like, all right, bye, have fun at the library. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay home. Yeah, that's, that's comfortable. Yeah. Did but, you ever um, feel left out? No, okay. I did not want to study finance. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. They were always complaining. They would pull all nighters mm. for these tests. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, nope, that's not me. Like, I did not pull. I think I did. I pulled three all nighters all throughout my college because I hate that. What? The that's only all nighter I can do is like partying. I cannot study till like six a.m. It's crazy. So you time managed your your studying when the sun was up. Yeah. Mostly like even in high school? Yeah. Dang. I think my high school routine kind of went to college. And then college went to my YouTube. My point exactly. Yeah. Perfect example, Joan. Yeah. I still have my calendars. Really? I still have my calendar. I color code my calendar. Like the big book that they give you at school? Like an agenda? Yeah. I I don't have those anymore. But Um. we have Google Calendar now. Uh I don't know if you've heard. No. (laughs) Um, But it's very convenient. I need to start using it. Yeah. Wait. So what's the most important thing to ask? For like roommates? When it comes to potential roommates. Um… Hmm. I think it's hard for me to answer this because we did it so differently back then. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. Mm -hmm. Um, Would you be in the same room? Like roommates being in the same room, right? Not same household. Uh Just same room, right? I mean, first thing I would ask is, do you snore? Oh, (laughs) That's important. (laughs) Are you loud? Oh, wow. Do you shed? (laughs) (laughs) What would you ask? I would ask, yeah, if they snore, um, if they have a like a fixed sleeping schedule what or if not. They because don't I'm know really if they sensitive. snore or not. What? Because some people don't know. Oh. What if they find out in college that they snore? Ask someone. Oh, okay. To hey. watch you when you're sleeping. You <laughs> snore. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What would be the first question I ask? I never thought about it. Mm, yeah, yeah, sleeping, sleeping schedule. schedule. Is pretty good. Hmm. What I games like, you like? I feel like these days people can um, uh, kind of pick roommates according to like if they like K-pop or not too. I feel like there oh, are yeah, people who yeah, do yeah, that. Like, you, are you like, a card fan? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> who do you stand? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like BM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we could be roommates. Yeah. <laughs> we we go to the fight. tour together. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's oh my cute. gosh. Yeah, that's, that's so cute. cute. Yeah. Good luck. Good yeah, luck. good luck, guys. Mm. Choosing good roommates. I feel like bad experience, good experience. It's all an experience that will become a story one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You also have to be very forward about what you don't like your roommate doing. Like as far as bad habits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to be forward about that. Right. Yeah. So if you kind of like tiptoe around it, it's just, there's going to be more problems. Just be mm. boom. One shot. One right. kill. What's yeah. the deal? <laughs> Thank you.
All right. Well, thank you, Joan, for joining us today once again. Yes. Thank you for having me. So and much insight, Joan. Yes, so especially on college. I feel like I like... learned more from you guys. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Oh my gosh, no. Um, That's fun. If you got accepted into your college of your choice, congratulations. congratulations. If you got rejected, it's not the end of the world. It yeah. really isn't. Mm-hmm. College is just four years of your life. Only four. (laughs) It goes by so fast. For those who are in college listening to this podcast right now, you're probably complaining about it a lot. But trust me, life after college is so much more stressful. So you're lucky. (laughs) (laughs) You're lucky to stress out about the essay topic or whatever you're working on. Um, Just enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Enjoy it. All right, guys. Um, do you have anything you want to promote or talk about, Joan? YouTube.com slash Joan Day. <laughs> and the beauty bar. We're on a break, but… Um, Catch up on all the episodes. Soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We listened to some of our episodes. We had fun filming those. Yo. Okay. If you guys want to stay updated on the show, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. We also have a TikTok page. Ooh. And our TikTok videos are pretty funny. So go follow that. Yep. And full episodes will be up on YouTube.com slash Dive Pods. Uh, follow and review this podcast once again, please. And thank you everyone for listening. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Bye!